as an introvert, this is so hard. Talking to a camera, talking really smoothly, gathering your thoughts about products, being a QVC model. If you're too young to understand that, well, can't help you. Well, howdy. My name is Diana Chu here at Slow Gaze. I am into slow beauty, slow fashion, and I'm all about turning the gaze inwards. So if you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome. If you are returning, well, howdy again. A few facts. I am 30 years old. Chinese heritage, live in Milwaukee. I am not from the Midwest, but the biggest fact that we're all here for today is the fact that I am obsessed with bronze makeup. Bronzy eyeshadows. I'm not talking taupes. I'm not talking golds. I'm talking true bronzes. Something with a coppery hint. Something that transforms under the sunlight into molten gold. Something that has a little bit more edge than like a bright sunny Midas touch. I am talking a true bronze color. And I happen to be always on the hunt for the perfect one pot bronze eyeshadow that I can just sweep on on my lids and I'll feel like I am transported to a perfectly sunny beach where the palomas are flowing, the piña coladas are also flowing, where Adam Driver is the only lifeguard that can save me on my island. My husband Ben will be the one riding a dolphin into the sunset. We're all happy-go-lucky on this island. I really think that eyeshadows can do that. One-stop eyeshadows especially. I guess we'll get into it. I'm back with my bare face, my little spooky self. Let's dive right in to the Tom Ford Cream Eyeshadow. So this is their cream and powder eye color. It has this gorgeous gel formula, which is actually one of my favorite cream shadow formulas. It's very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize. It just happens to have a different color range. So I think those are very comparable, but this one is in the shade Reflection here. It has a very light cream base color. Usually it's darker than the topper on top, but with Reflection, there's a beautiful chocolatey base down here. So I have this in comparison to this Naked Bronze. This is number one, this is number 12. Naked Bronze has been around for a while. I've had this for a couple years now, it is getting really gross by how I'm storing it, but a little goes a long way. And I also love how gorgeous this topper is. It is so translucent. I will do swatches in a second, but these are $65 each. You do get two different formulas, but still this is like high end of high end. I remember buying this because Samantha here on YouTube, Ravendall, she was like, Every time I wear this, I get compliments, and it's true. Every time I wear this, I don't get compliments. But love the look of this. It is a true neutral, gorgeous, gilded shade that just gives you that foiled sheen, the cream by itself, and then this topper, like I said, is so gorgeous. It just gives a little golden glint and makes the skin look wet, ugh, pristine. This is one of my favorite shades. Reflection, I don't use as much because this base color is so light on me. It is such a wash of color, barely shows up. This is almost exactly my skin tone, very yellow based. And in the pan, it looks really nice and gold, almost champagne, but then the magic really happens when you put this topper on. It has such a gorgeous base pigment. The shimmers in it are tri-colored. It's very subtle, but if you inspect it closely, the shimmers have copper, gold, and bronze shimmers in here. So they're all uniform. There's no like bigger shimmers and glitters and smaller shimmer and glitters. They're all uniform. Same with this topper, which has a lot more white in it. So as for a true bronze, I either like the Naked Bronze Cream itself or reflection and this topper is just absolutely gorgeous. I want to show you what the topper looks like on its own without the cream base. You really don't need the cream base. I find that it lasts longer with it and it gives just a little bit more depth here. If you're looking to splurge, this is where I would splurge. Ah, I just love it so much. Between the two, I definitely get more use out of the Naked Bronze because I love this cream base with other shadows, and then this topper goes on top of so many other colors of shadows. It can be a very colorful look, but this reflection one, I don't regret at all because I haven't found something so stunning as this. 
in a single shadow yet. Down the line is also a Tom Ford product, which is no surprise to anyone here. 46 US dollars. You can get it at Sephora, Nordstrom, what have you. This is the color Spice, and it is more brown toned than anything. I use a brush with this, but look how gorgeous that blends out and it can sheer out really well. So Spice is very comparable to Naked Bronze. You can almost see that there's almost no difference. This has a lot more chocolate in it and this definitely has a little bit more of a golden hint. But if you're looking for just a cream shadow, I think Spice gives you more depth. Whereas this is really nice if you like and use glittery toppers. If you don't, I would just go for one of these. I think you get more content. These only have a six month shelf life though. So that's not amazing. I definitely use them way, 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 way past. Let me swatch Naked Bronze for you next to Spice. They're very, very similar. Next up, we have a clean beauty favorite. It is a Westman Atelier iPod from the Le Jour Trio. Now, it comes with these other two pods, Neige and the Chocolat. I would love to show you what Chocolat looks like on my eyes, just because this to me doesn't really strike as a bronze, but if you sheer it out, it could get to that place. People want to see what it looks like sheared out all over the lid. And I don't have any makeup on. I have a really spooky looking face, like I said. So I have blemishes, I have discoloration, I have acne scars, I have freckles. Like I am realness right now. It gives my eyes just the smokiest touch of shadow. It looks so gorgeous on someone who has maybe more deep set features. It makes my skin look a little bit too peaky just to wear it like this. I tend to go for medium shades when I'm wearing basically no makeup, like this Tabak shade that I was about to talk to you about. Gel powder formula. It is unlike anything I've tried. I did a full review on these pods. I will link it down below. The shade has traditionally been a lot more peachy toned when it hits my skin. Almost cannot mess these up. It's really densely packed. Retail for the whole set for 88 US dollars. Each little pod, even though you can't buy them separately, they would retail technically for around $30. So that's why this is kind of lower on the list but I love how easy these go on. They have a lot of coconut oil in them that makes them slippy, that makes them glide on really well. They melt into your skin. That's another wash of the Tabas shade right over my lids. So messy, I'm being so reckless. What do you think? I'm into it. Not quite that bronzy glow you're looking for, but this is definitely one of the more subtle ones. Okay, moving on. Of no surprise, it is in the high-end category. This is the Chroma Crystal Top Coat in Full Metal Bronze from Natasha Denona. I have owned so many of her crystal top coats, it's embarrassing. I have never found this formula to be so absolutely gorgeous. So look at how much <laughs> foiled pigment that picks up. And when I swatch it, you can see that there's so much gold. So you remember how I was talking about this reflection shade from Tom Ford and how there are like several different colors of shimmers in here. There's the copper, gold, and brown. This one to me only has one shade of shimmer and that is gold shimmer. So this is surprisingly more one dimensional than the Tom Ford. On the eyes, it gives way more of a foiled effect. It really is more warm leaning but it stays on the eyes gorgeously and it has that rich base pigment, which I'm really looking for in bronze colors. It's a really soft formula. You have to be careful that it doesn't crack and just like fall and jump out. It does get kind of messy. This is not a cream formula by any means. It just has that wet emollients that sometimes powders have. This retails for 28 US dollars. So it's very comparable to the Westman Atelier iPods, which are closer to 29, 30. Paraben free, six grams. So this one is also a cult favorite, it is the Hourglass Scattered Light. I've tried their smoke shade, which is this beautiful taupe, but this is burnish and it's described as a bronze. It definitely, when you look at it, has gold, copper, and silver shimmers. And that's what's making it so highly reflective. When I pick it up, it looks more molten gold than bronze, like these other fingers of swatches past. Let me show you what that looks like next to this Natasha Denona full metal bronze. 
very different, right? The base is almost peachy, it is so much warmer, and you can see those silver reflex in there. I don't know what the hype is about these. This is also a pressed shadow. It feels a lot more uniformly milled. The Natasha Denona has like a base pigment that's so finely milled, and then it has like a glitter on top of it. This one seems just like all glitter, all uniform. I do like this little nipple stopper. I love anything that comes in a pot. Oh, excuse. So these are actually more expensive than the N Natasha Denona ones. Got them mixed up. This is $28. This is $29 US dollars. It does look like there's more in here and there certainly is, but I would not have guessed that there's almost twice as much in this. This has 3.5 grams and it only has a six month shelf life. This one is a one year shelf life and it has six grams of product. So for a dollar more, you're getting so much more from Natasha Denona. I also love this formula way, way more. The hourglass stuff, not worth the hype. I can put it on my eyes though. Boop, boop, boop. So golden, so gorgeous. I do like burnish if I'm putting it over a dark shadow, just not my favorite all over shimmer. Not part of the list, but I wanted to briefly mention this. Kosas 10 second eyeshadow, and I also did a full review of five of these. This is Element, and she is way more terracotta and not quite bronze. They don't have a true bronze color. There's gold, which is supreme, very glittery. Globe, which is more champagne element here, which to me looks way more copper, almost terracotta. Just wanted to mention that if you mix all three, you probably get close to bronze. She's doing a cameo. I also wanted to briefly mention MAC Foiled Bronze Eyeshadows. These are $26. These are made in Italy. You do get three grams of product, but that's even less than Natasha Denona, even less than Hourglass. I love this little baked impression. Looks like Craig's from Mars. This is Monococo. Almost bronze, almost gold, but they're really finely milled and they go on quite sheer. Also mention if you're trying to consider the difference between Monococo and Saint-Tropez. Saint-Tropez has way more of a red tone to it. Almost copper. It's like a penny. They're also limited edition, so I didn't want to put them in the official ranking list, but if you're considering a bronze, MAC is really great quality. I can't fault them for that. Monococo, thumbs up, jazz hands. I guess these are really expensive picks because next up we have a NARS $28 Super Power Chrome Pigment Loose Something Something. Power Chrome Loose Eye Pigments. This is in the shade Stricken. It has a really flimsy stopper that I feel like I'm gonna lose immediately. And you can see that the shimmers here are silver and copper. Very red toned like element. I'm gonna quickly wipe off the back of my hand so we can do one more set of excellent swatches. I'm just so good at them. You only get 1.5 grams of product. That's even half of what we got in the MAC ones. Lastly, we have these two gorgeous babies for $6 each. ColourPop really saves the day sometimes. I think they have excellent formulations. I love their Super Shock formula, which is what these are. You're probably like so familiar with this, you could tell me what to do with them, but we have this Ultra Glitter Deep Dive. This is in their slightly peachy beige tan outer packaging. The normal ones usually come in this bright white packaging. This was part of the Going Coconuts line, I think. DGAF, don't give a flying fudge. As I'm shifting them around, you're like, woo, can't, I can't stop looking. I don't know about you. But the Don't Give a Fuck, this one has almost like a pink red base. And then on top, it has a single color gold shift. Very flattering. This one I love because it has more of a brown, true brown base. It's reading purple, gold, and silver. There are three different colors in here, which makes them so exciting. So they're both really flattering. This has more depth. This has more just overall appeal. Get to swatching. They're so soft and buttery. Oh, and this just looks like autumn to me. It is so ho, 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 cinnamony and it looks like I could just eat it. That was Don't Give a Fuck and this is Deep Dive. Way more neutral, but really up close is when it starts to really shine. It has that bright white and that really cool lilac-y pinky purple just hidden in there. Oh no, no one saw that, but 
My NARS just popped out and the stricken just came out. Look at this. When NARS says that these are true loose pigments, I didn't think that they were this loose, honey. I was able to stick it all back into the pan, but now I'm scared to do absolutely anything else. I will power on for you, YouTube, but I mean, it looks relatively fine. This is what she looks like. Let's record it before I lose this entire pot to the floor. Wow, that's kind of like in between those two. <laughs> if you are not interested in your product just taking the emergency exit, it is also not worth $28 compared to what these gorgeous beauties will give you. These are also 2.1 grams, so you're getting a lot more product if you wanted to try even both of them. That would only set you back $12 versus $28. I mean, Stricken is gorgeous. But if you mix these two, let's do that. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That is a triple dimension bronze shade, true bronze right there, baby. So if you were interested in any of the others, Tabac and Chocolat from Westman Atelier, whilst gorgeous, aren't really giving me that high impact glow. But if I were to go for something really clean and beachy, Tabac would be the shade that I would take everywhere with me. I use Tom Ford's cream ones religiously. I wear them under almost all of my eyeshadows. If you can spare 60 something dollars for an eyeshadow, I really think these are worth it. I'm obsessed with finding the perfect one pot eyeshadow in a perfect bronze for me. So that's why I am so adamant about this product. But if you're way more into testing out looks and trying things out. I say go ColourPop. It's like really on different ends of the spectrum, but I have both of them and I love them both. I'm gonna put on a little makeup, stop looking so spooky, and then I will get back to you and tell you my final thoughts. Do you like my hair? Editing Diana here. This is me on a completely different day in completely different makeup and I'm standing by a painting that my husband did. Anyway, I wanted to say that I forgot to film an outro to the bronzers Oh, and hi, my cat. My cat is saying hello. Every time I talk, he wants to jump in and give me edits, editorial notes. So apologies for the abrupt jump. If I were to invest in one or two of these, I think that the Tom Ford, you really can't go wrong with the cream base ones and then the duos with the toppers. Love those two if you can afford it or if you want to afford it. And then on the flip side, if you really were interested in trying out bronzy pots and seeing if that was kind of your mix, ColourPop, you just can't beat it. So thanks so much for watching. If you are still with me here and uh, enjoying this uh, giant painting, please consider subscribing. I am really excited. I just hit 100 subscribers this weekend. So it's all thanks to you. It is all thanks to people who have been leaving me such positive, positive and encouraging comments who have been open to creating dialogue and making me feel like not only are there people out there who are interested, but there are also makeup lovers and people who share the same interests, who are hoping to just glean a little bit more information because there's such a deluge of makeup and new product out there that Honestly, I feel like we're all just helping each other out and having a chat over some coffee or over ice cream because I love ice cream. So I will see you on the next video. I think I have a couple more declutters yet to post, but hopefully you are safe, you are sound wherever you are, and I hope you're taking care of yourself. I hope you have a plan to vote. I hope your masks are being washed. Can't wait to talk to you soon. Adios. You got me upside down Should only feel this much